I haven't made a video like this in a long time and uh, I was scrubbing through some of my old videos when I was editing another video a couple of days ago and it kind of dawned upon me how time flies first off because Wow, starting this channel back in 2018, making sure that I posted a lot of videos. You all know the drill, like you've been here for a long time. And if this is your first time watching, maybe you should consider subscribing because there's, there's a lot of things going on here on the channel that you might be missing out on. But there's been so many times where I've started to doubt myself because I've made things that I haven't really had a clue on how to actually do them before I've done them. And then there's been times where I've just enjoyed the shit out of what I do and can't wait to get back to work. There's been times where I've been working 18 hours a day just because I enjoy it so much and I want to make sure that this works. But something that I haven't been doing lately is thinking about myself, thinking about my body and the vessel that I'm transporting myself in each and every day. So I was standing and looking at myself in the mirror yesterday and I was like, wow, I gotta do something. Not because I look bad, it doesn't have anything to do with that, but my mind comes from the bodybuilding days where what I was seeing in the mirror was a direct reflection of the hard work that I put in. And now I didn't see that. I was standing there looking at myself, 108 kilos. And I was like, wow, you gotta, you gotta start putting in the work again. And when it comes to this channel, like I've always been putting in the work. I love this channel. I love what I do. But when it comes to bodybuilding, I kind of lost that passion somewhere along the way because I switched it out for this. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go back to bodybuilding. That is not going to happen. But what I want is to go back into the routine. So I said to myself, okay, tomorrow you're gonna do 40 minutes of workout, weightlifting, and then you're gonna do 20 minutes on the cross trainer. Said and done, I woke up this morning, had my four eggs, and I'm like, ooh, I'm pumped, got here. And then I sat editing a couple of videos, you know, scrolling through Instagram, all that stuff that is kind of fun to do. And then it started to like feel a little bit hard to get myself motivated to actually go to the gym. But I went there. I went there and I thought to myself, you gotta do it. No one else is gonna do it for you. You have to do the work. You have to put in the hours in order to get somewhere. So I started my clock, click, time was running. And I felt stressed. I was thinking like, oh man, I should probably be working right now. I shouldn't be doing this. Why am I not in the office trying to make the next big thing or the next big video? Why am I spending time here? Instead, I should be thinking, how good? Now you're finally investing the time into yourself into something that will last you for a lifetime. But when I was standing on the cross trainer, once the workout was done, I was thinking that I probably should not do 20 minutes. I started thinking to myself, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do 10. And then I started, I was chugging along and it was like five minutes passed. And I was thinking to myself again, yeah, I'm just gonna do 10, no, no 20 minutes today. And then eight minutes passed and I started to think like, yeah, should I, should I really only do 10? Yeah, I'm, st I'm still gonna do 10. But when the clock started to count down to like the last seconds before 10 minutes passed, I also switched my mindset and started to think, you know what? If I don't do the 20 minutes today, I'm gonna be like everyone else. I'm gonna be the one that takes the easy way out, the path of least resistance. But I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that person that gives up when things get hard and that doesn't do the work just because it's boring. I started to think, no, you know what? I'm going to be the definition of hard work today. I'm going to make sure that I do the 20 minutes that I set out to do, even though I hate every single minute of the last 10 that I had to do. 
But the cool thing was that when the 20 minutes was over, I went off the cross trainer and I thought to myself, you know what? The goals that you set out are not gonna be achieved unless you are prepared to work hard in order to be able to get there. So if you're watching this as a fellow content creator, just know that the easy way is always gonna be there for you to take whenever you feel like you want to take the easy way out. But the big results are not gonna come if you take the easy route. It's gonna come with staying consistent through all the struggles that are gonna hit you on the way to achieve your goals.